and Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video, July on the Fly. It is flying by for me. I am so out of sync with my videos. Um, I need to get back into some sort of routine soon because it's driving me insane. I'm such an organized person. Anyway, it's July the 19th. I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on how my month is going and what I've been up to. So let's get started. Well, I had an acquisition early in the month I forgot all about. I, it arrived and I put it aside because I knew what it was, but I thought I'd share it with you because I finally opened it on the weekend. It is from Fiberific um, Chantel, who is located south of me near Brisbane. I bought the Shigu Circular Knitting Needle Case. It was on back order with her, but I tell you, it wasn't on back order long. She got it here pretty quick and up to me pretty quick. That's the inside for my, it has all the needle sizes and I'll be putting my circular shy goos in that. It's lovely and soft. It's really well made and definitely worth it. And I thank Chantel for getting to, that to me really quickly. She dyes yarn, she crochets, she has lives. I'll put a link to her channel. She has a website. I. I really like Chantel. I just don't get to watch her that often. But she does supply quality Shigu products at a reasonable price in Australia. So that was my acquisition. Um, a recent video I told you I was joining the bot along mainly to motivate me to make the men's poncho for thing. And yes, that is progressing because it has motivated me. I've actually finished the first panel of his poncho and started the second panel. Look, I don't know about this yarn. It's very busy. You can't really see the pattern. Um, I've been keeping the knit, um, written pattern with me because I do get lost and I have to keep checking my stitch count. And I use the Red Heart Aran that's made here um, in Victoria for Red Heart and it's turned out great. It is exactly the measurements Crystal said in her to, um, pattern and tutorial because I checked that out too. Um, look, it's really difficult to get some of the American yarns, even though she has a variety of yarns she shows. Um, if we have to bring them from overseas, it depends on the freight. And right now, a lot of the freight is really expensive. So I swear by a website called Yarn Substitute. You I type in the yarn she's using and generally it brings up quite a few substitute yarns you can use and it gives you the percentage of match and detail. It is awesome. Definitely we'll put that in the link in the description below because you really should check that out, especially if you don't have access to all the yarns um, Crystal at Bagger Day uses like me. But that is going really well. Um, I can't say I like it using this yarn, but I will be glad when I finished it and I'm sure Thing will like it. It's his sort of thing. Funny, huh? Anyway, the second project I was doing was a what I call a lap glam. It's one of her blanket tutorials or lap gan tutorials. Um, it's easy crochet some blanket. I'll make sure there's a link to her um, tutorials in the description below from Chris Lagaday. This is it. Ta -da. I don't know if you can see the bobbles, but this is perfect for my um, donation to the um, Opera Dementia Ward at the hospital. I love it. The only thing I did was she gives you the option to put a border. Because I changed colors and I have ends on the in it, it's always best to do an enclosed single crochet border, which I did. I have a couple of ends to sew in, finishing ends. This is made in the eight ply cocoon yarn from Spotlight. Now um, that's a brand store here. It is really soft and it was nice to work with, but because I rush, you have to be careful. You can split it really easy by being careless. But I would definitely do this tutorial again for charity. It is awesome. I highly recommend this. And I think in the right baby colours, it would make a great baby blanket. Hold on a minute. I just have to pause the video. Back again. 
dropped something before. So that's my Bago Day bot along. I definitely am considering doing a third one. This is a, a Bago Day tutorial, this uh, Shawlette Cowl. I love it. Um, this is one I checked out on Yarn Substitute to use this yarn. I know I have more of this cotton in black and white. It was earmarked for a project, but I keep stopping and not making it. So maybe I'll make another one of these. This is either sherry wine or cherry wine. Definitely we'll put a link in the description below because this is beautiful. Anyone who sees this go, oh, that's gorgeous. So yes, I love this one. I may make this for the bot along in a different color or a different cotton. But that's my bottle along. I am really enjoying it. It is organized through um, Fiber Floozy Jill and Paul Ply Guys Yarn Daniel. I'm bad at names. <laughs> Must be old age. Anyway, I highly suggest you join the bottle along. You've got till the end of September when they close it. And yeah, check out their videos and what they're doing and talking about it. I think it's awesome. So that's the bottle along. I've just got to check my notes because I've lost track of where I am. Other finished objects was, well, I didn't mention that um, beginning of July, I was asked at the last minute to go to our community market and have a stall to boost the numbers. And I did, but it meant I just threw everything in tubs. Normally I'm sorted and organized. I just threw everything in. Thing and I went down and set up. It was an awesome day. I had record sales. But some funny things happened because I threw everything in. Some of my charity stuff got mixed in. Now, the luck of the draw licorice blanket that I did with Nan's Next Knots, a lady saw that and really wanted it. And she paid for it. She bought that, a child's poncho. The tea cozy I made for the moss stitch challenge with Granny D. She loved that, bought that. Tea towels. It's a good job I have FPOS on my stall. And she said, I'll be back. I love crochet stuff. So hopefully I'll see her again. And she was probably early 30s, but very into retro things. And she was looking for something in orange and beige for her caravan. So maybe I'll do her a lap gown. Um, for her caravan, her retro caravan. That was fun. And um, then there was another couple, which was funny. I sold two of the cowls I have made for Setter's calendar cowl challenge. Like this year it's a calendar and you make cowls or you can make something else. And I haven't always made cowls because I'm not a fan of the crochet cowl and I've done a few knitted. Well, I sold February's cow, which was the purple with bobbles, which I was sort of, mm. but lady loved it and wanted that. And I sold June's cow, which was the Ica cow. The lady raved over that. Her and her husband bought that, three tea cozies and tea towels. Like they were visiting and they go, we get nothing like this where we are from. Her husband was wrapped in the tea cozies. I think... His wife had to stop him because he was going to buy more. He was trying to think who could give him to you for gifts. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a lot of fun. But the highlight was, for those who have been following me for a while, you'll remember I attempted to make an echidna tea cozy, which is like a porcupine. It's a native Australian animal. And I said it turned out looking like an English hedgehog. Some people said it looked like nothing, just a toy. Anyway, I put it on the stall to sell it, see if anyone was interested. And this young lady in her 30s came along and raved, Oh, Mr. Snuffleupagus, I love him. I have to have him. I didn't disillusion her, Mr. Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street. That's who she thought he was and she wanted him and she bought him, which gave Thing a big laugh because I never thought it looked like Mr. Snuffleupagus, but she thought it did. <laughs> So yeah, we had a great time. I do enjoy my community market. There are lots of markets around Cairns, but the one in my suburb where I live is the only one I set up a store for. And yeah, Suzette's always really good to us. And yeah, I love it. And it's a lot of fun. There was a lady there who was um, 
really keen on Baxter the Bilby. He was just down there overseeing everything. She's just learning to amigurumi. And um, she said she had no patterns. She couldn't find anything for Australian animals. I had some free patterns that were vintage and old. And I emailed them to her this week. She was over the moon. She kept saying, how much do you want? No, nothing. I just want to promote fiber art. And if you're doing amigurumi, then I'm promoting fiber art. That makes me feel good too. I enjoy doing things like that. So that was my market. And because, of course, at the market I sell heaps of tea towels with crochet toppers, I was left with two. And if I do August again, the August market for Suzette, I'm going to need a lot more. So I have been busy making some. So like that one, that's quite popular, the ice cream one. These are the ones that have, this one, these two need buttons. I've only just finished them recently. That's Monday, that's Tuesday. And this one, um, I've done this one before and people seem to really like it. I have one lady who's asked me to make five in dark green for her to hang in her laundry. And she puts it so that her, her grubby son and husbands can wipe their hands on them. And if it's a dark green, then it won't show the dirt as quickly. So yeah. I said, I'll see what I can do. I do have quite a few dark green in my tea towel stash. So I am attempting to do those for her. The other finished object I did, I knitted my standard slouch beanie. This is a pattern I've shared with guys before. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you check out some of the old um, videos. There are links to different things in my description boxes. But yes, this is made with yarn from Hobie that I got last year it's stash yarn so that goes to my scorch earth challenge it is Lima 100% soft wool from South America it is lovely and soft and not scratchy now it said a five millimeter knitting needle which is supposed to be about a four weight but I think it was more of a three weight and I used a four millimeter knitting needle the only minor issue I have with this yarn is the quality of the spinning or how they made it is a little inconsistent. Um, there are a few areas in the back. Because of this pattern, it's best not to cut and join. Just to try and make it in one hit. And yeah, um, if I was to sell that to someone, I'd have to sell it reasonably cheap um, and say, and just point out the inconsistencies. However, I managed to keep them in the back of the drape. So, yeah, I could give that to charity. Um, pr probably not a local charity because it's wool, but I could send it south and donate it to a charity down there. Some of them do take wool products. So that's it so far. Um, Christmas in July, my semi-finalist Jo from Jo's Web has claimed her prize, her Amazon voucher, so I hope she enjoys shopping. I was watching her video. She's been going crazy making Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. Um, I think it's a summer tank long top. I've never been brave enough to show my tuck shop lady arms, as we call it. But every time I see Jo show one of these, I think mm, I might have to make one just to see what it turns out like. But yeah, make sure you check out her channel. Jo is lovely and a lot of fun. And the fairy, fellow fairy who stopped by and won the pattern prize was Rosalie from Yarn It Out. She claimed her prize and bought two beautiful patterns from Etsy that she has now received. Um, she hasn't been feeling that well, so make sure you check out her, her channel and leave a nice uplifting comment to make her feel better. Yeah, two lovely ladies. Who, and yeah, it was awesome. I enjoyed Christmas in July fairies for my second year. Whether I go a third or not is yet to be decided. But guys, that's about it. I can't think of much more to talk about today and it's probably long enough. So until next time, stay safe, take care. Remember, life's an adventure. So have one yarny, crafty adventure every day. Bye for now.